So, Micah, what do we have going right now? Who Who's going to make this an even better class if Chip can reel them in here in the last <clears throat> days? One that uh, we've been hearing about, you know, UCLA uh, landed a very, very fast, uh, very uh, versatile uh, running back, Casimir Allen, out of Fresno, who uh, is just, you know, broke records in high school this year. So he's going to be excellent. But, uh, you know, it'd be nice for the Bruins to have another one. And it seems as though uh, they're really working Martel uh, Irby. Um, he's actually a commit to uh, was it Arizona, I believe. Um, and uh, apparently his, his uh, recruiting process kind of, you know, went silent. He received a, a an offer, you know, right before the early signing day. You know, before he was uh, uh, um, <clears throat> uh, with, with him recruit uh, committed to Arizona, uh, didn't sign. So if UCLA can flip him, that'll be good for the uh, you know uh, the, the the running back position. Um, they're also still trying to get uh, Gordon Porter, who's out of uh, you know Rancho Cucamonga, California. He's a three-star receiver. Um, you know they're just cleaning up with receivers right now. You know aside from you know if they do get Porter's commitment, that'll be six wide receivers, and that would be uh, this would be the best wide receiving uh, recruiting class uh, UCLA has had in quite a long time. They have not been very successful in getting uh, wide receivers, let alone you know. Um, uh, four-star receivers. You know, right now they have uh, three four-star receivers with Bryce Addison, Chase Coda, and Kyle Phillips. Uh, last week they just got you know very you know a dynamic uh, receiver in, in Dylan Hunt, who used to be committed to Utah, um, and uh, you know just adding to you know an already spectacular wide receiving class. So uh, they also received uh, you know very you know very big. Uh, tight end uh, commitment from New Jersey from Matt Alamo uh, and that was huge news this week you know that's the first uh, tight end that they have on on the uh, recruiting class and uh, you know it seems that Chip Kelly's you know going to continue with the tight end uh, group especially since UCLA has you know some very talented uh, tight ends already on the roster uh, specifically Caleb Wilson who you know he went down I think in game five or six this past year and uh it was unfortunate because he was, you know, the biggest target for Josh Rosen. You know, he was just, you know, he has great hands. He was able to get some extra yards and, you know, for a big guy that that's, you know, just awesome. So it's good to see that uh, the Bruins are going to continue with the tight ends. Um, you know, the UCLA landed a four-star offensive guard, Chris Murray. So that was huge, you know, a couple of weeks ago. Um, but as I said before, you know, offensive line is a serious area of need because of depth. Uh, so they should uh, hopefully get, uh, you know, at least two more. Um, they Because they also have a three, three-star offensive tackle, Alec Anderson. So there's, you know, they have some guys. They just need a little bit more, you know, on defense. Uh like I said, you know, the def the defensive line recruiting is just amazing. They have uh, four guys already. Another one that's uh, uh, pretty impressive is Elijah Wade, who uh, just a you know, big, strong, you know, uh, uh, physical player, uh, which, you know, should help out, you know, uh, in the in the ru in the rushing you know portion of the game. Um Linebackers is another one I talked about. You know, right now they only have four-star uh, Bo, Cal Bo Calvert, who uh, they actually flipped from USC. So that's, uh, um, you know, th that was a bit, you know, a bit of a coup. But I, but uh, it was a give and take too. UCLA also lost a player to uh, USC in that transaction. But uh, it'd be great if UCLA could get, you know, one or two more linebackers. And uh, right now, um, it looks like, you know. Another per, another player they they're in the hunt with that's committed elsewhere. Elijah Winston committed to Oregon currently. He's committed to Oregon right now, and uh, he might be you know uh, teetering towards uh, UCLA. So you know two linebackers in the class that that's good, but I think they need to try to land a few more, um, or at least make it a priority you know in the next recruiting cycle because. Uh, uh, Jerry Azanaro, the new defensive coordinator, he's going to be running out of the three four which means they're going to be needing, you know, a few more linebackers, you know, maybe a hybrid edge rusher, you know, uh, let's see what they do with, you know, the, the hybrid uh, uh, nickel position. So uh, that's something that is going to be a uh, necessity for, for the Bruins. Uh, defensive backs, once again, you know, UCLA has always done well with the secondary uh, recruiting that position. And right now they have five players, you know, led by four-star uh, safety, uh, Stephen Blaylock out of uh, St. John Bosco. So, um they're just 
continuing to 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 kill it with with the defensive back uh, uh, recruiting. You know, even though they that's a position with a new coach, they still uh, maintained uh, you know consistency with that and are you know getting the guys that they need. Uh, and it should be you know pretty interesting. Uh, uh, you know, secondary, you know, to see what, uh, Paul Rhodes, former, you know, head coach, um, now taking a position, uh, coaching job, uh, uh under, uh, Asanaro and, uh, Chip Kelly. So, um, if anything, the defense should be a lot more aggressive next season and that's good. And I think they're getting the guys that, uh, that, uh, that they want to fit that system. Just to round out, uh, some of the numbers and measurables on some of these guys that you mentioned that, uh, Chip Kelly's targeting, Martel Irby out of San Diego, right down the road, uh, that Arizona commit, but uh, maybe you get him back. 43rd ranked running back, according to 247 Sports, Gordon Porter, number 90 wide receiver, also looking at Arizona State, Tennessee, and Texas A&M. So anytime you wrestle somebody away, like you mentioned, the USC um, flip, uh, anytime you not only uh, get a player that you want, but take him away from a division rival, that's a good thing. And uh, the tight end that you mentioned, Matt Alamo mm -hmm. out of New Jersey, 24th ranked tight end uh, committed to the Bruins out of New Jersey, coming all the way across country. And Elijah Winston, top 20 linebacker, inside linebacker, top 20 player, fifth ranked player out of the state, Oregon, according to 247 Sports. So um, some, some guys still out there. So the class stands in good shape in the top 20 regardless. But uh, yeah, if you if you get out of these five or six guys that Chip Kelly's targeting, if you can get close to half of them, if you get two or three, uh, depending on position, uh, it uh, obviously improves the class even more. So this, even though about 80 to 85% of these kids are signed and delivered uh, already because the early signing period, these are a crucial few days to kind of um, take care of those last minute needs or grab a gem that's still out there. Yeah, so <clears throat> it's, uh, you know, Bruin fans are, you know, they should be seeing that, that uh, Chip Kelly, you know, is, is just doing work. You know, not, it, the sky wasn't falling, you know, once uh, recruits were decommitting. Um, it was just that uh, <clears throat> new coach, new system. Um, they got to figure out uh, their future. The players have to figure out their future. If, if UCLA is not a best fit for them, you know, you know, good luck to, to wherever you're going. Uh, you know, I hope uh, those commits, uh, um, you know, do well with where they're going. You know, one one that decommitted that really hurt was Elijah uh, Griffin. Uh, um, <clears throat> I think he was a five star defensive back, uh, and he was just uh, you know he's just an amazing player. But I think uh, you know he didn't uh, see himself fit in 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 UCLA system. Which, you know, which is fine. So you know, more power to him. I hope he's successful wherever he goes. But um, all parties have to do what's best for themselves. And right now. Uh, uh, Chip Kelly is just, you know, getting a lot of three-star guys, but these are guys that are going to do what is needed uh, to succeed uh, with Chip Kelly's uh, offense, um, you know, and as an arrow's defense. So it, uh, it just, you know, it, it, the pieces have to fit and it looks like it's heading in that direction. So, um, you know, it should be, you know, really fun in the next few days, you know, there might be a few guys committing before then, but uh, it'll be interesting to see, you know, what the final tally is you know, on Wednesday, February 7th, National Signing Day. Yeah, Elijah Griffin seems to be split between the Pac-12 and the SEC. He's got Alabama and Tennessee. They seem to be warm, but also USC and Oregon. So as we talked about uh, concerning the third rated cornerback in the country, number three uh, player in the state of California, if you're if you're going to lose him, you might as well lose him to the SEC. And yeah, get him he out can go there. there. So yeah, you don't have can. to see him for three or four years. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's just, you know, stay away from Oregon and USC. You know, that, that, that'd be nice. So. <laughs> Mike, we appreciate the update. Uh, I know it's been a busy week, uh, both professionally and otherwise. So uh, we appreciate you taking time and, and stopping by. Thank you very much, Mark. Anytime. Again, Mike Regalado, Gojo Bruin, join him there. UCLA football coverage. Of course, it's the middle of basketball season. So the Bruins are making their, their push toward the NCAA tournament as well. So, Mike, thank you so much, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, Mark. Take care.